when we hook up this device more times than not you're going to want to hook it up to the battery switch on the boat. The battery switch is going to give you most of the time two batteries. If you have more than, than two batteries you'll have to have an additional device to uh, monitor more than, than two batteries. You have a few basic tools that you'll need. It's usually a Phillips flat cordless drill, some crimpers, wire strippers. Can I go ahead and pull this out here. And expose the back of the switch. A lot of times these panels can be pretty tough to pull out. You got a lot of wires you're dealing with that are back there. And what we're going to do here is find the lead that's coming in from the battery that's hot all the time. How to do that, we're going to grab our multi-tester. Find us a, a ground. And then check to see which one of these are, are hot and which one's not. have the switch turned off we can tell which one does not have power to it anymore the other two leads coming in if they're not marked you'll be able to tell which one is battery one and two in this case, we're marked battery one, battery two. Our harness is going to have a red lead and a pink lead. The red lead will hook up to the main battery, and the pink lead we're going to hook up to the accessory. In this case, battery number two. That will be the harness. Tie these down. put the screws back in when we finish up the installation. Okay, we've located our ground bus. We're going to take our harness.
tie it down. Now we got our harness coming out. And we'll start tying that into the other featured items.